everyone. It is September 23rd, 2018. North Carolina woman arrested after sheltering 27 dogs and cats abandoned during Hurricane Florence. She has, she has a rescue and it's called, um, well, let's go to this article. My God, this this country is so profoundly sick, twisted. Tammy Hedges, founder of Crazies, Claws and Paws, Animal Rescue, arrested Friday on the 17th after 27 dogs and cats were confiscated from a temporary shelter that she set up to help these animals brought in during the storm. There were volunteers bringing in animals that were chained up, abandoned. So she said, we were trying to help abandoned animals. A group of us got together to do something to help those animals. That's why we opened our building to them. So they'd have a safe, dry place to go until their owners returned to get them. Their owners abandoned them, dogs chained up outside, hurricane coming, and they're abandoned. And, well, I don't know, do you think these dogs should be returned to their owners? Do you think something should happen to their owners? But Tammy Hedges, who provided a safe place for these animals gets arrested. She said that she gave amox, amoxicillin to some sick animals and also used a topical anti, antibiotic. 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 My God. I am really having difficulty talking lately. Anyway, this is so upsetting. I, I can't, I, I am, everybody in this area, you need to go down to your police department or the animal control officer. Find the animal control officer that arrested this woman. And, and support her and Tell this animal control officer that something is profoundly wrong with him. Something's profoundly wrong with this law that is all over the place. But during a hurricane, you're going to arrest a woman because she gave antibiotics to sick animals, used a topical antibiotic ointment, and she was also charged with soliciting a donation for tramadol, a prescription painkiller, sometimes used for dogs and cats. Now, I have given my dogs tramadol. I have known people who had rescues. They all had amoxicillin. They had antibiotics. They had a whole lot of different prescriptive medications and local vets gave them these prescriptions because they were a rescue and uh, how can one person who's a rescue continually bring animals to a vet it, it would it's just way too costly you can't do it wow uh, she made a list of things that she needed I think she posted it on Facebook and one of the things was tramadol she had an injured dog Wayne County said the animal control officers had serious concerns regarding the practice 
of veterinary medicine without a license and the presence of controlled substances, tramadol. You walk into any rescue, rescue I am telling you, anybody who has a farm, uh, ranchers, uh, and you're going to do this. You're going to do it when vet Vets were closed down in that area. Roads were closed down in that area. Tammy was not flooded out, but other areas were flooded. Vets were closed. She was trying to help the animals. She gets arrested. I don't know what to say anymore about this country and the people in it. I don't know what to say about Americans anymore. They are sick and twisted. Americans on the whole. You know, I tried to get more information about this. There are a number of articles, but they're all pretty much repeating the same information because I, it just, it, it's so, this can't be true. That's what I said. This can't be true. How could how could anybody arrest a woman who's trying to help these animals who may very well have died chained up outside? But she Oh my god. She housed them in a building and she didn't have a permit yet yet they were in the process of getting a, a, a permit or a license but there's a disaster unfolding Hurricane Florence well I guess the law is the law right doesn't matter how grossly unjust and immoral We've got to follow the law. I, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. Wayne County Animal Services responded at the request of the North Carolina State Department of Agriculture. Upon entering the facility, they developed serious concerns regarding the practice of veterinary medicine. Oh my God, you're giving a topical antibiotic? You're giving amoxicillin? How dare you? And, you know, there's a rescue, or not a rescue, but um, somebody who works with animals here. Uh, I know a neighbor of mine has been given amoxicillin for the feral cats that have infections. No, but... It's practicing veterinary medicine. You need a license. So we're arresting you. So the animals were surrendered. Wayne County Animal Services. They took all of the dogs. They were checked out by a licensed veterinarian. And Animal Services is working to reunite them with their owners. So nothing's going to happen to the owners who abandoned these animals left them to die. But the woman who tries to help them and save them and give them a safe place is arrested. The case was turned over to Wayne County District Attorney's Office based on suspicion of practicing veterinary medicine without a license and a presence of controlled substances. Oh my God. And North Carolina statutes require a certificate of registration issued by the Animal Welfare Section in order to operate an animal shelter. How dare you put these animals in a building to save them from a hurricane? Save them from death. How dare you do it? You don't have a certificate of registration. Well... I will link below to the Facebook page here, Crazies Claws and Paws.
the latest update is um, as a volunteer and one of the directors of uh, this rescues board this person writes I need to make a personal comment for those being judgmental and criticizing her you need to remember this was during a well we all know it wasn't a natural disaster but even though her site wasn't flooded, all routes to everywhere were closed. The vets were closed, too. She had two cats come in severely sick and an injured dog. Was she supposed to let the cats spread the germs and infect everyone else? And was she supposed to let the dog suffer? She did what she needed to do at the time till she could reach a vet. If your animal was in that condition, would you want someone to leave them to get sicker or stay in pain? Please think, people, and remember the situation. That this person actually has to write something like that means that we've got a lot of very twisted Americans. And I am so sick of it. So here, there's a petition, do not fine, um, Here, you can go to the petition. Do not find crazies, claw, and paws. Uh, so far, they have 7,919 supporters, and 8,000 is their goal. I am certainly going to be signing it. But you guys in Wayne County or anywhere close, <laughs> Go down to the Wayne County Animal Services and demand that this woman be released. That's a great way to support people. This is their website. Oh, man. There's a lot of articles about this. And two cop cars came, two police cars with men to arrest a woman who is four feet ten. Yeah. If we didn't feel like anything was being done wrong, we would not have taken the animals. But that is for the courts to decide. And she said she didn't even go out to get the animals. Independent rescuers had gotten some from flooded areas and brought them to her. She's breaking the law. And this guy says, whenever rescuers find an abandoned pet in flooded areas, they made a note of the address where it was found so they could contact owners after the water receded and they could be reunited with their pets. Um, they're claiming that she took the pets. <laughs> wow. Well, Hedges said, it's very disturbing this happened. We were just trying to help animals. That's what we do. I am very disheartened that people who try to have a voice for animals are shut down. $10,000. $10,000 it took her to get out of jail. $10,000. Do you think that, you know, there are so many organizations, there are so many police departments, there are so many involved in government that do things just for money. This is CBS's Twitter page, and I'll link below to this too. Read the, uh, read the comments, and one person writes, where is the court, I'll be there to support you. Well, it's the Wayne County Courthouse. 
and oh god, in one of those articles, there is a date for the um, oh, hang on. Oh, she's scheduled to appear in court on October 17th. Charged with 12 counts of misdemeanor practice attempt veterinary medicine without a license and one count of solicitation of a schedule for controlled substance. It wasn't like she was out on, you know, some corner, uh, you know, trying to get heroin. She just made a list of things that she needed. And, you know, this was a crisis and suddenly she's, you know, having to take care of 27 animals. So, you know, I've, I've been involved with something like that. And they immediately make lists of what is needed. So, the injured dog, she writes tramadol, controlled substance. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired of sick people. I'm tired of encountering them. I'm tired of, of uh, people doing what is so wrong. Hardly anyone does what is right. You know, yeah, everybody should just get down uh, or contact her on her Facebook or her website and um, ask what you can do to support her. But I still <laughs> go down to the Wayne County Animal Services and demand that this woman, you know, not face charges. Uh, we've got to start doing things differently. We have to start doing things differently. These laws are breaking innocent people, destroying innocent people. And the only way that this will ever reverse itself is if people stand up and demand. Demand. These are the people you pay their salaries. You pay their salaries. You know, and I know. There's an awful lot of people who, oh, just do the two-minute video, Carol. Just, just, just tell us the facts. I can't do that. I cannot do that. I just can't do it. This country so often just makes me sick to my stomach. And what's a country? Well... A country happens to be the people. The people. The people. Without people, there ain't no country. So, yeah, so dumb. She's saving these pets. What's wrong with her country? There, it's set up. Let's help Tammy. Um, how about charging the owners who left their pets to die in the disaster? Who they had a week to evacuate and then leaves their pet to fend for themselves. Call for firing and retraining of animal control officials so it's okay the hog farmers left them all to die. Over 5,500 hogs and a few million chickens and they're worried about a good Samaritan trying to save some pets. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Instead of thanking her for her help, they arrest her. 
and this Michael D. Martino. Well, he's a law and order guy. He's the guy that says, hey, she was giving those animals antibiotics without a license. She was asking for tramadol donations. Oh my God, it's a prescription animal painkiller. She isn't a vet. She was treating animals without a license and asking for controlled substances. <laughs> oh God. I give tramadol to my pets in pain and I know when to give it and when not to. I'm sure she does too. According to your logic, I'm allowed to give out opiates without a medical license based upon who I think is in pain. You don't get to practice medicine without a license. So, there. There you go. You think this guy is pro-government? You think he's a statist? You think he's got something wrong with his brain? Yeah. It is uh, severely indoctrinated. <sighs> All right, I'll link below to everything. I'm I'm sorry for going on. I I just guys, I have no one. <laughs> I have nowhere to bring any of this, so I'm bringing it to you. I'm so upset. I can't believe this. Please, guys. You guys, Wayne County, surrounding area, please do something. Please, organize. Organize a time and date to get down to these, these animal services. And yes, demand. Demand that that this woman not be charged and that there is retraining of animal control officials and it was a disaster she saves 27 animals but you don't have a a permit you don't have a certificate of registration to save these animals and put them in a building are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus. All right, look. Wow, man. And so many Americans still believe that Americans have nothing to do with this nightmare we're living. Americans are good. They have nothing to do with it. It's the globalists. It's the elitists. Really? Boy, you've got to reevaluate that belief you've got. The useful idiots, the Americans who are just control freaks, put on a uniform and a badge, and wow, man, I've got so much power. You take off that uniform and badge, and what is it? What's there? Just another two legged human being probably one who has no courage except when they put on that badge carry a gun I'm the law you gotta do what I say order order followers order followers ordinary Americans who follow orders. That destroy their fellow Americans who just do things innocently. And this one actually tried. She was the good Samaritan helping. No good deed goes unpunished. A lot of people are asking, what about the owners of these pets? Nothing is going to happen to them? No. No. Wayne County Animal Services is going to reunite these pets with their owners. 
you t let me know what you think about this. Links are below.